My name is Colin Castor. I'm half owner at Bodega in the Short North and half owner at a uh, beer and wine carryout in the North Market called Barrel and Bottle. I think uh, definitely Facebook. Uh, we get a surprising response from Twitter as well though and we have more, even though I'm not as well versed in it as I should be, we have more followers on Foursquare uh, than I thought we did. So I think people are using that a little bit too. We haven't uh, officially done any contests. There's actually something that I want to do this summer in terms of putting a photo on our drink menu, like a summer photo contest with customers. Right. Um, we do sometimes have like uh, special drafts or special uh, kind of unique drafts that come in that aren't widely distributed that we only tell people about on Facebook and kind of make it a secret special thing for people to come in for. So. Yeah, I would say some of those posts that uh, if it's a really interesting food special, if it's a really interesting uh, beer drink special, I'll definitely see people come in and talk about it. Okay. Um, sometimes more so than uh, print ads are kind of hard to track sometimes. People don't always mention that. But the social media, there's usually a direct correlation if it's something that's really desirable, I guess. I think it's useful for a bar or restaurant uh, because a uh, small independent bar or restaurant, and this even plays to, a, I guess, a larger chain restaurants, but the kind of the advantage you have in being small and independent is that you can be a little bit more agile than the big guys, and social media moves really quickly, and you can uh, uh, change things really quickly without having it set in stone on a menu or without having to uh, make a lot of external changes for people to see it happen. For a long time we had a guy who, who had worked here for several years who was kind of man managing everything. Um, he ended up moving away uh, and then I've been doing it more myself and my business partner has a little bit as well um, and we're actually kind of in the process of training a current staff member to take that over a little bit and we're also working with uh, kind of an outside guy too to maybe handle it a little bit. About social media? Or um, the biggest thing that I've noticed is that people, if you just put up what your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday special is every day and you do it at the same time and you repeat it every week, that's really not going to be interesting for anyone. Like, put a little bit of yourself inside of it. Like, try and make it funny or try and make it, try and make it funny, try and make it your own, uh, keep it brief. Don't bog people down with an excessive number of posts. We might even be kind of on the light side for posting, but I would almost rather be there than something that people have seen too much of and just ignore every time.